It's kind of funny in a not so funny way. We're living in what's supposed to be the safest and richest time ever, yet we're all feeling more stressed out than ever before. Our lives have changed so much, but our minds and bodies haven't really caught up. Did you know that a bunch of people, maybe even up to half of all Americans, feel anxious and burnt out? It's not even a question of if you're stressed anymore, but more like, how stressed are you? And what are you doing about it? Anxiety isn't just about being diagnosed with a big fancy word. It could just be feeling kind of uneasy all the time. But what if we looked at anxiety differently? What if it's actually trying to help us like a fire alarm letting us know something's wrong? Wouldn't you rather know there's a danger and deal with it than be clueless and suffer? Here's the thing, you can still live a life full of peace and happiness, even with all the crazy noise going on around you. In this extract, Building a Non-Anxious Life, we're going to check out four daily steps for a better life. Now, don't get it twisted. Having a peaceful life doesn't mean all your problems vanish into thin air. It just means you're able to see things clearly and act with purpose even when life throws curveballs at you. Choosing to follow these steps every day isn't a walk in the park. But then again, neither is constantly feeling on the edge of total exhaustion and hopelessness. So what do you say? Ready to take that first step. All right, let's get started on this journey to a less anxious life. First up, choosing reality. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's all about being honest with yourself. No sugarcoating allowed. You've got to take a good, hard look at your life. The good stuff, the not so good stuff, and everything in between. It might not be easy, but trust me, it's worth it. Just a heads up though, facing reality can be tough. It can sting a little and it can definitely feel scary. But it's not all doom and gloom. When you choose reality, you're not just facing the dark stuff. You're also embracing the little sparks of light that sneak into your life every day. Those moments of joy, those small victories, they count too. So how do you make choosing reality a habit? Well, grab a pen and paper or open up a note on your phone and ask yourself some questions. What's going well in your life? Where do you want to improve? How do you feel about yourself? Are you proud of who you are and where you're headed? Take it one step at a time. Break it down into different areas, your health, your relationships, your career, you name it. And remember, it's not about beating yourself up. Give yourself credit for the good stuff too, even if it's just a few things. You might not do this every day, but check in with yourself regularly. Update your notes and reflect on your progress. Eventually, you'll start to see things more clearly. No rose-tinted glasses are needed. And once you've got a handle on reality, well, that's when the real choices can begin. So, you decided to face reality head-on. Now, let's talk about the next step, connection. It's about realizing that none of us can navigate life alone. Feeling understood, valued, and cared for, and doing the same for others is crucial for a calm and fulfilling life. Choosing a connection might sound scary. In today's world, where we often feel more disconnected despite being more connected digitally, it takes courage to deepen existing relationships or build new ones. Let's look at some eye-opening stats from a 2022 survey by Ramsey Solutions. More than half of the respondents didn't have a friend they could call in an emergency. Around 68% had only a few close friends, and a staggering 82% felt that even their close friends didn't really know them. But our relationships are lifelines. We're wired for connection, and being isolated can feel like torture, according to psychological research. So what can you do to prioritize connection in your daily life? Start by reflecting on those survey questions. How many people could you call in the middle of the night? How many close friends do you think you have? Do people really know you? Then challenge yourself to be a better friend, partner, or neighbor every day. Can you give your partner a sincere hug? Reach out to an old friend, or maybe show kindness to someone who's upset. Remember, relationships are at the core of a peaceful life. They'll make the next step, choosing freedom, even more rewarding. 
The third step towards a life filled with peace and joy is all about choosing freedom. But what does that mean exactly? It's about freeing ourselves from four specific things. Money worries, clutter, time constraints, and boundaries that others cross. Our minds and bodies react strongly when we feel trapped in any of these areas. If we're buried under piles of stuff, if our schedules are jam-packed with no room to breathe, or if people constantly overstep our boundaries, it sets off our anxiety alarms. Let's zoom in on money worries for a moment. A recent survey by Ramsey Solutions found that a whopping 60% of Americans stress about money. Shockingly, nearly 20% have less than $1,000 in savings, and over a third have no savings at all. So, how does this tie into living a free and non-anxious life? Well, when we're drowning in debt, drowning in things we don't need, overwhelmed by our schedules, or constantly pushed around by others, we're not really free. We're slaves to all these things that weigh us down. But here's the good news. Reclaiming our freedom is possible. It starts with small steps, like paying off that last credit card bill, decluttering our homes, saying no to unnecessary commitments, and setting firm boundaries with others. Sure, it might feel like squinting against the tide in a society that tells us more is always better. But as I've seen, that mindset only leads to more stress and anxiety. Take a moment to think about which area of your life needs the most attention. Commit to spending just 10 minutes a day tackling it. Start with the one that will give you the biggest sense of relief. These small victories will fuel your progress. When choosing freedom becomes your habit, you'll find yourself on the road to a life free from anxiety. And now you're ready for the final piece of the puzzle. So you've been working on choosing reality, connection, and freedom. Now it's time for the last step, choosing belief, letting go of the idea that you can control everything. You might think, here we go again, but hear me out. Belief in something bigger doesn't mean ignoring science. It's not about blindly following a specific religion or ideology. It's about acknowledging that there's something beyond us, whether it's a higher power, the universe or nature itself, that was here before us and will be here after us. It might seem strange, but living without anxiety means surrendering control. We can influence a lot, but there's also a lot we can't control. When we hit those limits, living without anxiety means trusting in something greater than ourselves. So what does choosing a belief look like in daily life? Start small. Find a way to relax your grip on control. This step is more about letting go than actively doing something. Then think about how you can strengthen your connection to a higher power. Maybe it's joining a faith community or starting a prayer practice. Or maybe it's just taking time to write down your thoughts on what you believe. Choosing a belief isn't easy. It can be challenging and even confusing at times. But keep at it. Belief is what keeps a life of peace and joy together. Although the anxiety-inducing modern world might suggest otherwise, it is possible to regain a non-anxious life of peace and joy. While you might not be able to eradicate stress and trauma entirely, you can significantly reduce the burden of these experiences with intention and perspective by choosing reality, connection, freedom, and belief every day. That said, do you remember the popular internet meme called Choose Your Heart? For the uninitiated, it is essentially observed that life is and will be hard, regardless of what fork in the road you choose. Running from reality is hard, so is stopping and staring it in the face. Being single is hard. So is getting married and starting a family. Having debt is hard. So is educating yourself on personal finances. Believing you can micromanage the future is hard. So is surrendering to a higher power. The truth is there are no free passes in this life. We're always choosing between hard and hard. The only difference is that one fork in the road leads to more anxiety and less peace and joy. The other leads to less anxiety and more peace and joy. So what's your hard work? The choice is yours. Choose wisely and let's journey toward a life filled with more peace, joy, and fulfillment together. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.